Now we move on to problem number 18. Here is about calculation of expected returns and with the help of expected returns calculate covariance and the given situation here is when probability is given. We had in the earlier problems covariance when probability was not given. So the question looks same covariance only but in which situation we have to identify that is more important for going for further steps. If covariance should be calculated and if you are not able to know what are the steps to be taken up further for calculation and you may go wrong. So first identify when the question comes calculation of covariance whether probability is given when probability is not given. So probability not given different formula when probability given this is the method which we are going to see now. So first to calculate covariance definitely we need expected return. So the problem goes like this here the return on security A and security B under 5 possible situations are given below. 5 possible situations probability is given, return on security A is given, return on security B is given that is in percentage. Remember return should be always in percentage. So once you ensure that you have to go for calculation of expected return. In the problem it is not given at all to find what that is expected return. So if you look at the last part of the question it is there compute the covariance between the returns on security A and security B. So that is the indication that expected return has to be calculated. To calculate covariance expected return is compulsory. Without doing that we cannot calculate the covariance. So in the problem they may not mention about calculate expected return. It is implied you have to understand. Let me go for further working now. RA into P. What is RA? Return on security A. What is RB? What is RB? A is nothing but return on security B and the probability. So steps are therein. Please carefully observe and work. RA into P. RA into P. So minus 10 into 0.1, 15 into 0.3, 18 into 0.3, like that we have to work. So if we calculate like that, we are going to get the values, carefully look at it. Minus 10 into 0.1 is minus 1, 15 into 0.3 is going to be 4.5, 18 into 0.3, 5.4. Similarly for that 4.4 and 2.7 that is 27 into 0.1. If you add this you are going to get expected return. So all plus you have to add minus 1 you have to do you will get 16. For expected return of security A is 16. With the help of that we have to go further step. This step will be useful for calculation of the covariance. So what is this here? RA minus ER of A. RA is this. Minus ER that is minus 16 So we have to write down when the minus values are there and we have to work. Minus 10, minus 10 and minus 16 it is going to be minus 26. Next 15 minus 16 minus 1, 18 minus 16 2, 22 minus 16 is 6, 27 minus 16 is 11. So no need of totaling this at present. We will take these values later. Next we go for calculation of expected return of uh, ER of uh, B, RB into P, 
RB is this return on security B multiplied by probability like 5 into 0 0.1, 12 into 0 0.3, 19 into 0 0.3 like that. Let us take the values therein. 5 into 0 0.1, 0 0.5 like that, 3.6. 5.7, 3 and 1.2. So here all the values are plus. If you add, you will get expected returns. After calculating expected return of B, that is, uh, we have got it as 14. After adding all the five values, it is 14. We have to go for one more uh, calculation, which will be helpful for calculation of covariance. RB minus ER of B. So let me write all the values connected to RB. RB is these values. Carefully write the notations. Notations are going to definitely help you out for working. Very important for you to remember this. 5 minus 14, minus value is more, so minus 9. 12 minus 14, minus 2. 9 minus 14, 5. 15 minus 14, 1. 12 minus 14 is minus 2. So here no need of totaling again. This will be useful for calculating the covariance. What is the covariance of A and B? I have the values over here. Probability into RA minus ER of A multiplied by RB minus ER of B. So let me substitute now with the probability first. I have written the probability first, then RA minus ER of A, I have calculated here, RA minus ER of A, I have the values over here, minus 26, minus 1, 2, 6 and 11. So I have taken all these values over here. Next, again multiplication of RB minus ER of B. There is a deviation we call it as. Here, once again, we have to be more careful. We have to multiply all these values. Minus 9 into minus 26 into 0 0.1. So that is going to be 23.4. Similarly, minus 2 into minus 1 into 0 0.3, 0 0.6. Similarly, 5 into 2 into 0 0.3, 3. Next 1.2, next minus 2.2. So here minus and minus becomes plus is only one minus is there, so it is minus 2.2. Add all the plus values and minus 2.2, you get covariance of A and B as 26. This is the answer for the question. So no further formula is required. If you work like this and write a sentence, covariance of A and B is 26, that is sufficient.